again it is time to work round eight we've done quite a bit on our be my valentine dishcloth and round eight is one of the more complicated parts of this design and i have noticed that there is an error on this in one spot they left off the asterisk um, the asterisk i don't know if you can see this or not should be right there in front of where it says chain one put your asterisk right there because um, at the end of that round it tells you to repeat from the asterisk that the asterisk is missing and I figured out where the asterisk belongs because I'm just so smart <laughs> no not really <laughs> it took a long time for me to figure it out actually because I'm not that smart I'm all right I'm kind of smart yeah I'm pretty smart <laughs> All right, let's get going. Eighth round. Join D. D is a crew. It's the white color. I'm using white chocolate. Join D with a slip stitch to any chain one space. So you remember you did two chains here and you did one chain in between the two um, sets of double crochets. So that's the chain one space that they're talking about in between there. And it's the hole down here. It's not up in the chain. It's in the space here, the hole. So you just go in that hole and you add on your yarn with a slip stitch just like that. So just hold the end back there while you work the beginning of the round. It says um, chain one. So there, we did a chain one. Now one single crochet in the same space as that slip stitch. So we're going to do a single crochet now. And now you can pull that end snug and it'll be secure. Now it says chain one. So we do another chain. Then it says working in the sixth round. Make sure you notice that because we're on round eight right now. We're not going to be working into round seven. We're going to be working into round six. Working in the sixth round, miss the next double crochet. So we're going to miss the first double crochet. <clears throat> and one double crochet in the next double crochet. So we're going to go here, down, in front, and then pull your hook up in front of that red. So it's like that. It's not behind the red. It's in front of the red. So pull your hook in front of the red. Pull that. Uh oh, I forgot to wrap my hook first. Silly me. There. And pull it through. And then you do a double crochet down here. And you don't ever get that red part involved. You just do all this up in front with the red just sitting back there in the back. And then um, you do two double crochets in the next double crochet. So once again, just do everything up in front of that red. And then do one double crochet in the next double crochet there. Now you miss the next double crochet, you chain one, and you do a single crochet in the next chain one space up in um, the seventh round. So up there again, working that chain one space, and you do a single crochet. Then after this, it says repeat from the asterisk around. So the asterisk should be in front of your chain one up there. So we're going to work a chain. Then we're going to do a double crochet in the second. Double crochet down here in round six. Then we do two double crochets in the next one. Then we do one double crochet in the next one. Then we do a chain, then we do a single crochet up in the seventh round, then we do a chain, and then we start down there on round six again. So you see how it lines, lines up there? And then back behind your um, two chain spaces that you were before just hanging right there. That's the way I do it. There might be another way, but I like this way. I think it looks good. I've tried it a bunch of different ways. I tried it um, like this. I'll show you how I tried it. I tried it this way where you work around both of those like that. 
and I didn't like how um, bulky it was when I worked around all of this. I'm going to do it so you can see what I'm talking about. So if you work around everything and you encapsulate in there like that, it looks like that. But if you put it in front, it looks like this. I just think it looks so much neater if it's in front. If you just leave that hanging back there, it just looks so much neater at the front. But you can do whatever you want. If you want to encapsulate your red in there like that, you can. You can do that too. But I like it better hanging in front. So. I'm not really sure which way um, the L L Lily Sugar and Cream pattern wants it to be done because they don't specify. But I like it up in front like this. I just think it looks neater. And I think you could use those um, extra things hanging at the back as a hanger if you want. You could hang up your cloth with that. So that's just my little two cents for what it's worth. I like it with the um, red part just hanging back there. And I think it looks prettier on the front that way. But you do whatever you want. And if it bothers you to have this stuff hanging back here, you know, you could hook it in with, with thread. You could run a thread across there if you want by stitching it or something, but I think it's fine just hanging back there. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> you do whatever you want to do. Alright, <clears throat> so now I'm just going to keep working around mine. You keep working around yours, and I'll see you in the next round. We're ready for round nine. Talk to you later. Bye.